Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dark Souls Free. That was a bit of a weird hello, but who cares? I'm very excited today, and if you want to know why, it's because I'm going to head over to these advanced settings here. As you can see, I've got lighting on Max! And Max, 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 it's fucking great! They've fixed it, they've made a bug. Well, just as I say, it's fucking great. Fucking frame rate jumps to zero. Fucking classic going Dark Souls free. Just like, ah, oh, everything's great, fuck you. <laughs> But seriously though, they have fixed the crashing bug where if you go to a bonfire, you're at high light and you just, it just crashes. It doesn't do that anymore and there's also slightly better performance on PC, which is great. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hopefully I remember to cut out that cough, which I coughed out of camera, but it still would be freaking loud because that's not how microphones work. And I said camera before, but I meant microphone. Who cares? We're going to be going to the Crystal Sage, we could be going to the Farron Keep, but I thought about it. I thought about it, and I decided, nah, fuck that, I'm going to Crystal Sage. Because, as much as it's great to get the Dark Sword as soon as possible, for obvious reasons, I kind of want to do some other things, so I'm going to do some other things. Jeez, these damn load screens, they get me every time. Every time. Alright, so, even though it says Road of Sacrifice, we're not going to be in the Road of Sacrifice for very long. You go from the bonfire, you go left, and there's a wall here. You can walk through it. It is pretty obvious, but in case it's not for whatever reason. And you do have to go this way, and you do have to be Deacons of the Deep, so. Anyway, first thing you want to do is roll off the side here, and then... Kill that. I wish my frame rate didn't fucking chunk to zero though. That was just weird, but at least I got to do a super cool slow motion killing up a thing. And I completely missed that one like six times. Hooray. You want to come here, you kill those two twinkling night tight night things. And you have a nice little look out and you can see what's going to happen ahead. So we got two of these guys. These are the things we're going to be dealing with. So there is a way that you deal with them and it is just waiting here for a while. Like the stalker in the night. You may also notice I'm wearing different armor. I'm wearing the fallen knight armor, which I got just before... Uh, I think it was by a tree, maybe? In the Great Swamp area. Super good item. Whoa, whoa, way. Way. Alright, this is just annoying. Alright, that one's dead. We can now move on to the next one. Come at me, bro. Bro. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna lose some health now. It's gonna be so lame. But there is another way you can hop out here, which is... Not that way. That way's tough, but if you walk here, you can sneak up on the witch. So you want me very slowly. Oh, I was should go on the fire. That would be really poetic. Ow. 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 Damn, girl. Calm down. Herald set. That's for the Herald starting class. Hooray. You may be wondering, Chris, you're taking a shitload of damage, isn't that really bad? <clears throat> Normally, yes. But in that section, it doesn't really matter as long as you survive. Because there's a bonfire right here. And this bonfire is to save you from this lightning screen, as you can see right now. I've got a frame loss there. And it's because we're in a new area now. And we're in the cathedral area, but the, it won't pop until much later. As you can see, it says Cathedral of the Deep there at the top of that bonfire. Down here, there is a guy, and there's also a guy up the stairs. You want to kill the guy down here, because it doesn't actually aggro the guy up the stairs. This guy's got a katana. Motherfucker. <clears throat> On my shield. Oh, jeez. Front stab. Oh, man. I'm getting the shot wrecked out of me. That's right, I can heal. Ow. 
Oh my god, this guy. This guy. These guys don't respawn, so don't worry about taking damage here as well, because you're just going to be... How was that not a front stab? He got a front stab. Where's my front stab? Huh? Huh? Dang ass game. As you can see, he was wearing the full night armor like I'm wearing the full night armor, so... You'd think it'd make more sense that he would drop the full night armor set and I can just pick it up, but... Whatever. Should probably have a look at the full night armor set and see what the deal is. <clears throat> God damn, I hate getting shit in my throat. It's so annoying. Helm of an order of fallen knights who disbanded and fled, but ultimately met deaths. The driver's tethered hood conceals a tough black metal, which absorbs dependable protection from fire, and it's possible to make out the majestic gold engravings on the surface. Yeah, I can see it there. There's just a little bit on the right side there. It's pretty cute. This one. Da -da -da -da. Nah, it's just talking about gold engraving. So, these are probably like royal knights, but they went out, uh, they went disgraced, so they're covering up their shame by putting a hood and shit over them. I can only assume that. I don't really know, but that's what it seems like anyway. There's a path to the right there, and we also got some ash, which is nice. Whoa, girl. Raw, I too raw. Ow, that hit me. Oi. Now this one's being a bitch too. Should probably not have my controller so close to the microphone. I'm just looking at my thing now. I see all the clicks from my freaking mouse going. My not my mouse, my controller going clunk, 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 clunk. Yeesh. That ain't good. Thank you. Alright, now there is a path somewhere. I don't think it's this path, but let's go down this path anyway. Because it seems interesting enough. This is most certainly not the path I want, but there may be an item at the top here. I can't quite remember. Well, I'm pretty sure there would be an item at the top here after all this backtracking. But there's another path that I want to go to. Ah, that's where you get the crest shield from. That's a good shield. Much better than the one I currently have. Got the Grass Crest Shield, which... Yeah, it is imbued with Stand my Recovery, which is nice. And then we've got the Crest Shield, which is really good against Stark. So if I had that, you can see that this one doesn't give full physical resistance. But because it gets Stand my Recovery with it, it's actually a pretty good shield. Like a really good shield. And then we have the Crest Shield here, which has Dark Resistance. So here we go, coming across Dark Enemies, you kind of want this shield out. Which we will be coming across eventually, but not for a while. Now, before I head through that area there, there's a path out to the right here. Now, this path out to the right leads not really anywhere useful. That's right, just a drop down. The drop down to where the Paladin Ashes were. We can have a look out this gorgeous view. Now, this was the thing that I was confused about over there, like, I assume that's meant to be the bad swamp area, but like, the textures aren't loading properly, so I can't tell. And then there's like this weird ass town over there, and this is the town that I'm like, what the fuck is that town? It makes no sense. Where's the town that's meant to be like right there? You can like barely see it for the leaves there and shit, but it's just, it's all weird. Like, look at that, on the left there, it's fucking, I don't get it, like, <laughs> I got depth of field on max and everything like that, but still, it shouldn't, like, chop out all these textures. But if we look at where the fires are, we can draw, like, lines straight down, and we'd see that, that town area on the left there doesn't really fit in with anything. It's just, like, disjointed, and it makes me think that that's a DLC area, but I look at it, and I can see that it's, like, the bloated swamp area too over there so I don't know it's always confused me this whole lookout area like it's it's just so weird I assume it's meant to be like hey that's another path you could have gone buddy go do that but still come back there's an item titanite shard hooray not that I need titanite shards at the moment but maybe I'll find a better strength item later who knows 
I actually don't know if I'm going to find a better strength fight. I'm probably just going to save the Balax the whole time. I'm also not worried about all the damage I've taken because this next area isn't exactly hard. Like, this is a bit, you know, difficult, but it's not like you're going to die or anything doing this. So what you want to do is, like, lure your dogs over to this corner here. And they will come eventually. Where'd that dog go? Oh well, he'll work his way here eventually. In the meantime... Bang. Ah, that's how we hit them both. But faster than, you know, but hit. Ow. 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 Motherfucker. And again, it's not. Don't worry about taking damage in this area. It's nowhere near that big of a deal. What's that item? Is it below me? Oh, well. oh there's a dog there. But, oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. That was terrible. What was that item I saw? Disappeared. Uh, maybe if I go back here, I'll see it again. Unless I picked it up unintentionally, but... Well, there was an item like right there, but... Mm, guess I must have picked it up already. I just wasn't paying attention. I do do that sometimes. I just like turn my brain off and just go, Oh, yeah, I'll kill the things. They'll die. It's fine. Everything's fine. Gonna have some frame loss here, but... Pff, we're doing good. Everything's gonna be just A-OK. -okay. Looks a lot better with everything on max though. I might turn it off because I'm getting a lot of just frame lag for no reason. Like it was happening before, but it was, but it wasn't, you know? It was, but it wasn't. Got a well here. There's no Sigma of Katarina in it yet though. Bit of a shame about that Sigma guy getting himself stolen. Alright, this 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 is kind of pissing me off now that I keep constantly losing frames. It's it's not nice. I'm gonna fix it. Advance. Nope. I want to go advance. I thought that would be advanced, but it's not. Alright, let's turn that to high. Put everything to high. There we go. Maybe that'll fix some of the problems. I don't know. I've just been noticing it a lot lately that it's just kind of being annoying. But we're now in the church area. We're deep in it. And we have three doors leaving this room. One where we came out of. And there should be item over here. Hey buddy, thanks for notch whip. We've got this door here, and we got this door in the corner over here. I will be opening up every single one of these doors, and out of all of them, they're all pretty easy to open actually. This whole area is actually pretty well designed except for this initial bit. This initial bit is the only bad designed area, but that's just how it is. That's a Titanite shard by the way, it's also you know just telling you how to get back here quickly. And here, we've got a really good item, so... Kill them bitches. Oh, what? <laughs> it did a bit more of a jump than I expected. Now, we've got two paths here. We can go up these stairs here, or we can go to the shortcut path. But the shortcut path is currently blocked, so this would just be a loop that would go nowhere. So don't go down there just yet. Once you open up the shortcut, you can go down there. Instead, we're going into the spooky, spooky graveyard. Oh, it's so spooky. Look at all these hollow. Oh, they're so spooky. So spooky. So spooky. Look at how spooky they are. Oh, so spooky. There's a drop down there. We're not going down that drop down just yet. Oh, so spooky! Everything's so spooky. Thanks for the sword, buddy. You keep praying at it, though. Oh, it's so spooky! Oh, so spooky! <laughs> uh, I should stop that. <laughs> then hop down here. You see this guy like, hey, backstab! For no reason whatsoever. It's just fun. These guys just constantly keep respawning. That's why I'm not hurting them at all. There's no reason to kill them. 
except for guys like this that, you know, they're just asking for it, really. Sitting on the edge like that. The edge of reality, maybe. Now, this is obviously an ambush. Like, if you can't tell this is an ambush, this is a fucking ambush, but it's also not that big of a deal. So, you just pick up the fading cell and pick up the executioner's great sword. And you're like, oh my god, ambush! Ah! Oh, wait, I can just walk past everything. It's like no big deal whatsoever. Sup, bro? Oh, so spooky. You see, they spit out slugs and stuff, which is what's keeping them alive. They don't really know how those slugs work. There's not really much lore on them yet. Hey, buddy, where's your item? It's clearly meant to be an item there. Maybe you can, like, drop down from up there. How do I get up there? Let's work it out, boys. Excuse me, boys and girls. I need to head back. There's a path that I haven't seen before. And I want to know how to get to it. Nope. Ow. They punched me. This path? And this just leads back to the ambush. Is there a path here? Ah, oh, there is! Aha! Ow. I found it, boys. We did it. Found some place I haven't been yet. Doesn't actually lead anywhere, but still, that's pretty cool. So you can head out the ambush that way. That's pretty cool. Now, you see that guy with, like, the hands coming out of his stomach? He's, like, a guy who's on his way to being transformed. Oh shoot, I don't have a torch on me. Well, I can't show off a trick then. That's fine. It is not important. I don't want to lock into him on. This is what I want to look onto. Praise the sun, motherfuckers. Praise the sun. That looks real pretty, though. That's going to keep coming out of the ground, so don't worry too much about that. These guys are the ones you got to be careful of, because if you get hit by them, you'll keep having bleed constantly ticking on, unless you have a torch. Or some bleeding moss to get rid of it. Here we have a Grave Warden. I don't really want to fight the Grave Warden here because it's kind of in the way of everything. There is a tr uh, trick you can do with the Grave Warden, which I would do, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Because I kind of want to go there and just show it off more blandly than more surprisingly. So I kill Grave Warden. She's pretty easy. She's annoying in her second form, but... We don't get to see that second form for ages. But if we come here, we go, wow, this tree, it looks awfully familiar. Young white birch. Why are all these giant arrows in the ground here too? Ah, oh, could it be? What? Except for it's meant to actually be hitting the things instead of hitting a wall or whatever the fuck it's doing. Undead burn shot, make sure you get it. Hopefully our buddy will actually kill these things. She sort of is, but you know, he's doing a pretty shit job about it right now. Where are you aiming, bro? Alright, that one sort of hit. What are you doing, buddy? Just sitting there. I can fix that problem for you. Don't you worry. And that's it. There's also these weird... pre-broken pot things in the ground. I don't get why they're there and why they're so different colored. I think it might just have been a mistake, but... You'll see why I'm really confused by it, like... It's, see, it's even there too, but like, here is the most confusing one. Because I'm like... I always saw this, I'm like, what the hell? It's like meant to be broken glass or something? But what broken glass would have broken and fallen there? It's... it's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. Oh, there's even more there, like... I'm assuming it's come from that wall there, but... It's not clear. Not clear at all. So make sure you get that undead burn thing from that guy in that area. It's important. That shield there is also the best, lightest great shield for all the whole game. So make sure you gra grab that if you want a great shield. I'm not going to be using a great shield even though I'm strength build. Because great shields aren't really that great. As much as they got great in the name, all of this is best stability. You don't really need stability in most cases. All you really need is the ability to dodge. So you just want like a light shield of 100% block and then maybe lightning block or fire block at certain bosses and places. Now you see this giant door, you want to open it, but it doesn't open. That's weird, man. That's real weird. Oh well, we'll move on from that. 
Red bug parts, that increases fire resistance. Now this is pretty important because as you can see all these guys have fire spears and whatnot like that. So you kind of want like a fire resist shield. But it's not super important. Damn it, he got his thing on me. You jerk. Now this aura that's currently on me, I'm just going to walk away from this guy. Stops me from healing. So as long as you see that floaty stuff coming off you, you can't heal. And that is actually caused by Lloyd's Talisman. But in this game, it's known as Undead Hunter Charm. Prevents Esther's recovery within a limited area. It's a pretty good weapon. I mean, pretty good item. I was kind of hoping you would have dropped down by now, but whatever, I don't give a shoot. A flaming shoot. Why did that guy hop up? Whatever. He'll come down to me. There's a guy in the corner here. Good, and then fall off the edge. <laughs> that was what I was more worried about from that guy. Those suicide guys are always annoying. Now, if you look at the shadow there, right there, you can see there's a assassin right above me. How mother... Mm. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Give me that. Now, these guys are annoying, but... What you want to do is kill the one over here first, because he shoots, shoots, throws bonfires, bonfires, fire bombs. He's a real dick. As much as that archer guy is a real dick. What? 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 Bro, calm down. You too. I don't know how you dodged my attack before, but. I'm real peeved off by it. Down here we got a few more of these crossbows. Real annoying. Just want to like walk perpendicular to them so they miss and then quickly kill one before you get hit by arrows. I recommend killing this one before the one up the corner. Not for any particular reason, I just find that one down there to be more annoying than the one on the top here because he's at a better position to shoot you from more angles. Yeah. Just keep spinning, bro. You'll get me eventually. Now, we are coming up to an annoying bit here. Uh, there's not really much I can say, but this is just annoying, so... Do what you can. That should be it. Basically you just want to kill those things as fast as possible and hope she doesn't hit you. Because she will generally miss if you don't like target her and just run past her. It's about the best I can say. And that's about it for it. All we really got was undead charm so it's completely optional. You can just like choose not to do it. But you know, I'm doing everything, getting every item. Now behind us you can see if the feetsies right there. There's more assassins so. You know, assassins stay annoying. I probably would recommend like just rolling out of there instead of doing what I did. Seems a bit better. More red bug, red bug pellets, so it's it's saying, hey buddy, there's a lot of fire enemies here. You might want to have resistance against that shit. Now, I'm pulling this guy because there are assassins ahead. I'm pretty sure it's not with this guy, but they're still annoying. Ow. I thought that was a backstab, but apparently not. I couldn't quite see his whole body, so I made it hard. Now oh, this man, he's dead now. Now you'll notice that he's wearing some fancy robes. That's good to know. Maybe this is some sort of church area. Like, you don't really already know that. In here, there's a whole bunch of these things. Like, you think it's over, but it's never over. Ow. Fuckers. And I mean fuckers, because they are just jerks. I hate them so much. Because <laughs> they're not difficult to beat one at a time, but because they're in every single ambush, you just know them as hate. Yeah, you better miss that. Ah, oh, I walked into it. Doesn't matter. Had fun. Alright, head up here. 
could have had up here beforehand, we could have killed more of those guys. And so like have a look around. That's where you would see these guys here and you can kill them all before getting that item, stop the ambush from even happening. But the ambushes aren't really that bad. It's more just saying, hey, you can't stop ambushes. This is how you do it. Now we got another grave one. There's actually two grave ones here, so be careful. If you want, do this, pull one out. Remember circle strafing. It's always a great thing to do. And remember, the moment you get the backstab, start charging up your attack. Ooh, I got some more Estus from that. How lucky. Here's the second Grave Warden. Oh, whoa, lady. Calm down, bitch. All the way. Preemptive strike. Oh. Ah, I win. <laughs> I attack slightly faster. That's all that really matters. It's not about who strikes second, it's about who strikes faster. Or first, you know. Oh no, they're on fire. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh I always feel bad for them. <laughs> they try so hard, but in the end, it doesn't even... <laughs> I can't. I can't. Now there's a bunch of crow guys over there and we have our first door into the place. Yeah, I saw you there. I saw you there. Shaking out our ass. And now we're finally inside the church. We had to go the long way, but we made it. But before I do anything in the church, immediately turn around. Immediately turn around. Time to kill some crows. These poor innocent crow people. Actually, these aren't even the crow people. These are just the uh, suicide people. Whoa, bro! Try to decapitate me. That's just not cool, bro. You. Come on. Ah, camera, please. You screwed me over. Because I completely did a flip and then my controls were pressing it the wrong way. Goddamn semi tank controls. So that was it. That was just an ambush. <laughs> It's really worth it. <laughs> was even an Estus shot or anything good. It was just an ambush. I suppose a lot of the places are just ambushes. Whoa, it's so foggy and mysterious in here. If we look down, we see a giant. Bum, bum, bum. Blah, 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 bum, bum. We will be cheating that giant, and I'll be showing you how to cheat that giant pretty well. But in the first place, we get a new enemy. This enemy. Is super weak to fire bombs, so if you can get some fire bombs, get yourself some fire bombs. Now these things they do drop from above, so be careful and look up. And if I was putting down a thing, I would say try looking up because they are up. Little dual charm. Here we have some of the deacons of the deep. So we heading here, deacon of the deep. Notice how they use fire. There's how there was one guy to the right there, I showed him off to you. Roll into them. Just roll into them. They can't do shit. See? Boop. Rolled into you, bro. That's all this. Just roll in. Just roll in. It's all good. You just roll. You just roll. Roll, roll in. Yee, yee, yee. Yee. Now. You're gonna go, hey, I wanna go this way. You don't wanna go that way. That's a bad way. You're gonna go, okay, I wanna go this way. Well, that's also a bad way, but you know, I'm not gonna hold it against you going this way. So go this way. What you really wanna do is go in the elevator back there, but I'm going down here because there's item. I like item. Let's fight, lady. Where are you going, lady? Yeah, you did that. Go fire mode. Thanks, lady. Now, what were you protecting? Let's find out. She was protecting a deep gem. You did a good job to protecting that lady. Ow. She hit me. She hit my mama. No. No grab for you. 
No grab. So that's all that's down here is the deep gem. You'd think there'd be something more considering she was like backing up to defend it. There's also a black pit down there. I don't know if that really holds too much value. Besides the fact that maybe they pick up people, chuck them off here, and they fall down to the proclaimed capital. Just saying, it could happen, it could happen. I don't think that's where the profane capital is, but they do say that they throw bodies down from here into the profane capital. And that might be the hole. Who knows? It's goose! Damn it. Damn it. This is where the axe is at its weakest. Because its huge swing radius makes it hit every single wall. Especially against ooze creatures that take heaps of hits to die. But other than that, it's a pretty cool weapon. You want to head down the elevator. So if you didn't want that deep gem and you didn't want that lore, head down the elevator. And you're like, whoa, what is this place? I'm so lost. If only there was some way to ground me in a place where I knew where I was. Oh well, I'll open up this door here. Everything will just be fine. And then we should be able to look down here and we go. Oh. Wrong area. Don't look down there, there's nothing to see. But there is this door here, so open the door. Open sesame! No. What oh, about open sesame? Hmm? No Aladdin plants? I see how it is. And we did it, we're back at the church. The starting church, and we have one of the three doors open. Well, two of the three doors open. There is some stuff that I want to do quickly, so before we end this video, I'm just going to wrap up the shortcut area. So, I don't think he's in here yet. Nope, still not in there. That's alright. We'll see you in there soon. Hopefully. We're going to want to hop down here. Now, I don't think I've got any. No, I don't. This is going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to be hit by one of these creatures at some point. And it's going to suck, but that one didn't notice me, so we should be good for a while. So I'll just be doing that loop later. Did you notice me? No, I didn't. Good, good, good. As long as it didn't notice me, everything is fine. And here we have a sleeping giant chrysalis creature. And over here is where you can go back to the, the church. So, just keep that in mind. I'm going to keep it in mind, so you should keep it in mind. So, we're going to hop down here, and we got this, this lovely crystal beast, and he's sleeping. Boy, she's so cute. <gasps> I woke him up. Oh, no. I woke him up. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, mister. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, jeez. Can I get the... Damn it, where's my front stab? Oh, well. Notice how it's so much weaker now, because you actually have a good weapon, and you actually have some damage attached to it, so... Oh, jeez, man, I'm so sorry. Here we have another one of these creatures. Now that I'm hit, I will always have bleed constantly stacking up. There's nothing I can do about it unless I had a torch on. And if I had a torch on, I would flick it on, flick it off, and just burn these snakes off me. You can see them all crawling through my skin, and it's so gross. Ugh. Poison bite ring. So I'm going to take off all my clothes so you can truly see the worms and all that worminess. Look at that. So wormy. Alright, let's put my clothes back on. Alright, now I'm going to be taking a lot of damage from this because I just can't get rid of it at the moment. It's fine. I can get rid of it if I went to a bonfire or anything like that, but I'm just going to deal with it. I know how much damage it is, so it's not that big of a deal. As long as I keep my health management going, it should be right. It may get annoying in the middle of a fight, but you can pretty much just deal with it. As long as you have enough Estus like I do. Now if you go up these stairs here, there's a Titanite shot here. So you should most certainly have enough Titanite shards to get your item to a plus three. And maybe a second item to plus three if you start just, you know, doing two items for whatever reason. Oh yeah, healed just as I was getting the bloodlust, like a true baller. There's another Titanite slug here. Oh, the worms finally died. I didn't know they'd die out. Thought they'd just stay on forever. 
That's interesting. My job always is use Torch to get rid of them or Red Moss. Because they both get rid of them just as well. But that's cool. And here we're going to have one of these creatures. Ow. 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 I know there are better ways of dealing with them, but I just can't be bothered. Like, using fire bombs really hurts them. Any fire magic actually does. Even if you just, like, put fire on your weapon, it does a really good job. Oh, I dropped an item. What did you drop? Hey, more large cells. That's nice. And this is the item we want from down here. It's a Saint Tree Bevel. Belville? Belville? Bel Belvine? That's probably why it is Belvine. You should be able to kill them before they hit you, but my damage is a little bit weaker than I want, or my attack speed is a little bit too slow, but that's it. We've done this area. It's all good. Like I said, as long as you got the Estus, you should be right. I thought there might have been an item here, but there isn't. And you just take the bleed loss as it is. Because it is biting into your skin constantly, going, Yeah, yeah! I'm gonna eat ya, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna eat ya, yeah, yeah. All right, stop it, stop it. That's enough of that. That's enough of that, there, hey, hey, hey. So, we're good for this area. We're gonna be heading back to Firelink Shrine. And I'm gonna buy a torch, because I thought I already bought a torch, but apparently I didn't. I didn't. I'm also gonna be doing some level ups here, but I'm gonna be doing it all off camera because it's not super exciting. It's really not. I'm probably just going to be putting my level ups in Vigor again. I think I still need one more in Vigor. And some, maybe more Welcome some in Strength. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Story.